I've done really well so far. Uh, this is gonna be my fifth stop of the day. I've only spent $108. Now, I do have my friend Jocelyn with me, so I'm probably gonna be a little distracted, not as uh, honed in as usual, I'm more hanging out than shopping, it seems. But I'm really excited because the last time I was here, they were putting out tons of good Christmas stuff. So I am super excited to rate what they got now. This is kind of a strange bank. Huh. This aisle in here is where I get into most trouble. Chicken baskets, that's fun, that's only five bucks. And then the frog set, that's a fun one too. I've had that a few times. Oh look, they got Magic Chef. I'm trying not to get too carried away. I feel like I was pretty good last time I was here. This guy, 15 bucks, dang. And then there's that Josef Originals that was there last time. I'm really surprised to see this Christmas girl is still here. It's really good price. Even, um, even leave some room for resale. I'm kind of into this little enamel over copper. Oh, it's two of them. Only four dollars, that's insane. Was this cowboy here before? I think not. He's pretty spectacular. Eight dollars. He's missing the original fringe on his pants, but I think that's still pretty cool. I feel like I could probably make a few bucks off that. I'm a little hesitant just because he's got that little weird dip there and what is this it's really creepy epi doll huh it's kind of scary i did go ahead and look this up it looks like the average price is between 10 and 20 bucks so 15 is right in the middle there random toilet figurine <laughs> Whoa, look at this piece of pottery. This really isn't my style, but it's only $5 and it's signed. Looks, looks like that's probably worth some bucks, honestly. I'm not gonna mess with it because it's not really my thing. How did I not see these snowman mugs? Look like 80s. And then the Naco Christmas girl. I've never seen it in the planter. <laughs> That's funny because I sell clowns like crazy. Oh, look at these little, what are these, Keebler elves? <laughs> yeah, not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. Little owl, miniature owl with googly eyes. Christmas. All right, let's see what we got here. There's so much going on that it's kind of hard to weed out. He's kind of spectacular. What about this light? It's even got a bottle brush tree, 30 bucks. Oh my gosh, look at how scary this one is. <laughs> I don't usually mess with, oh, it's not bought a battery up. It's just kind of scary. I kind of love him, 11 bucks. What is this little guy? He's got a really great face. I feel like this is the same one I left here last time, yep. It's not that exciting, but I'm just really obsessed with the Majorette doll. But this is kind of exciting. That's a hard to find set. I'm surprised I only have ten dollars on it. What's wrong? I know. That's why I'm all, I'm like <laughs> on the ground. Bad. Like, what's wrong with it? Why are they cheaper than these guys even? That doesn't make any sense. And then they got the whole Howard back there. Those are thirty six for the pair. It's a little too close for me. Yeah, uh, that's kind of a hard find set to find. I'm a little confused by that. See, this is killing me. The little pixie owls on a chair and then the elf trinket box i think it is oh, on yeah. a mushroom it's definitely too much to do anything with it there's a lot going on in this case first of all the christmas shopper set is only 14 dollars, which is super cheap they do have some paint loss 
Um, of course, what originally attracted to me was the Miss Pris, but $45 is about retail. These are kind of neat. They look like Tupperware, maybe. Hmm. So far, everything I've kind of looked at over here is pretty close to retail except for that set, but I don't feel like getting them with the paint loss. I know that's kind of crazy. The last one I had had a repair and it sold for like 50 bucks. I've been raving about this Christmas room. Here it is. I got super lucky in here last time. Put my basket down. All right. Let's see what they got. This is cute. Look at these freaking party cups. I'm obsessed. $18 seems um, like a fair collector's price, but I don't think I can do anything with that. Man, that's so cool. I love that they're in the uh, original packaging there. Um, scary witch mask with lenticular eyes. Yes, please. Oh, Nora Crescent. Oh, yeah, I remember that was a mixed match set. Um, more Santa salt and pepper shakers. Nothing too fantastic. This guy. That's a hard plastic face. 40 bucks in the Woolikins. Do those don't sell that great. Um, hmm. Lots of stuff, but nothing as exciting as last time yet, I should say. Yeah. There's nothing. That little Lulu. Where'd she go? Did I? Oh, I was like, I swear I just saw a little Lulu something. It's just a bank. Oh, look at this tree topper. How cute is that? They always got all the weird stuff down here. Um, this is a very cool. I think it's a scrapbook, yeah. Wow! I had one that was like this, except it had a spot where it was a music box and a little ballerina popped out. Oh my gosh, look at the cute little cupy. 20 bucks, I feel like that's kind of cheap. Well, I ran ahead because I had to know what new salt and pepper shakers they had in here. And fortunately, it doesn't really look like much has happened. Um, they have the little Dutch set by Left in $8. That's a really good price, but you know what? I don't have much luck with that set um, or variations of that for that matter. I'm kind of like weirdly into this casino diner jacket. Unfortunately, it's 58 bucks, so it's not a funny gift. I'm super into this Tin Litho stroller. I love the graphic on it. Is that? Oh. Well, anyway, it's only seven bucks, but I don't really know what I would do with it, honestly, especially now that I got rid of my booth. Man, that is fantastic. Oh, all right, we got more Christmas. Kind of like these glass mushrooms. This is a whole bag of these guys. 22. Um, 12 bucks. It's a little close. I got really lucky last time when I found that little vinyl deer in here. Now those Santa mugs are reproduction. Um, I kind of like this hobbyist snowman. But this, I think it's fine A. No, it's not go. I'm wrong. 10 bucks, not a bad price. Oh my gosh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 12, dang. I've had this one a few times. It usually sells for about 25, 30. It's kind of a fun one. I'm nervous to pick it up again since it hasn't been that long since I had the last one. Though it is pretty neat. I'm gonna put it back. I'm being super picky. I kind of like this set. It's a boxing cat and dog. Although I'm still on my sports band. Ooh. Kind of like that stuffed cat. Definitely seems to be about retail though. 
oh yeah it's um it's one of the japan ones it's made to look like staff oh it's got the tag on it i was gonna say kamar but the tags aren't there all right <laughs> gotta check out the whole howard cats do they know what they are twenty dollars no no discount um they do have a little damage on the eye. It's still a really good price. And then I kind of like these tiger ones. Those are fun. Those are 10 bucks. Those are kind of hit or miss with me. I like the organ grinder set by Nesco, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 10 bucks again. And Santa Claus is missing his balloons there. What about the bluebirds? 18. And, ooh. I think these are Holt Howard too, actually. Eight dollars they are. They've got the sticker. Miss those. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. Awesome. And I can't help but notice these little, it's a really interesting set. Salt and pepper shakers. I thought they were just figurines at first. I feel like the salt and pepper shaker versions are harder to find, though I'm not really too jazzed about paying 18 television set. TV salt and pepper shaker set. What does that say? Does that say $10? I wish it had something on the TV. Um, it's a really good set. These usually sell pretty well for me. It's got a little bit of damage, which I'm not, I wouldn't even call it damage. Let's see what these look like. It's been kind of stingy. I'm really just trying to pick up stuff I haven't really seen before. If they were a little bit less, I'd do it. Oh my gosh, I had this Madeline doll set when I was a kid. What is this doll? Oh my gosh. Needs key. I have never seen one of these in these size. Does it say needs key or has key? Because that looks like a key right there. I'm confused by this. That is pretty fantastic. This doll, this Walker doll, I've never seen one this size. She's so creepy. That's the appeal. <laughs> this is where I found that Holt Howard cookie jar last time. This guy's still here. These are even cuter than I remember them, but I still am unwilling to pay the, that price. Mm. It's missing its mate. Man, what about this left end planter? That's 35. What about this one? 55. Yikes. Well, it looks like I'm not going to get as lucky as I did last time. Whoa! Look at the fruit. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, these overalls. Dang it, they're $75 and they also are like 100 pounds. Yo, look at this coat. It's like a mustard color. 75. And this is faux fur, which is a weird texture. What about this belt though? This thing's neat. This is real rabbit fur. How much is this? 25 bucks? I feel like that's actually pretty fair. It's nice. Um, I wonder if it can get through my belt loops. It looks a little too thick. So it surprisingly did work, but it's got a little tear in it and I'm nervous that the fur is gonna start coming off as soon as someone starts using that, which I didn't think of before. Let me get back to uh, business here. Where did Jocelyn go? I kind of went rogue on her. Smiley face glasses. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> it's a no. It's better, than it's better than the duck. That's true. <laughs> well, honestly, I think we're about tapped out here, but I had to double back and check out this holiday booth before I went downstairs. Left a napkin holder. 14. Yeah, after last... Uh, Last time I've been a little underwhelmed. I got so overwhelmed last time. Stuffed tiger. I have one of those kind of. Like this troll. 
Well, I definitely hung out more than I shopped. I only bought one item there. Uh, I spent $113 total over the course of my last five shops. I had a lot of fun, which is really what matters, by the way. And uh, the sun's setting, and I'm gonna make the trek on back home.